Gentleman tonight in a decades old murder case in Montana. Two men serving life sentences for the 1994 murder of a Helena area woman could soon be set free after new DNA evidence points to someone else as the killer. And this new suspect is already in prison serving two life sentences for a double homicide in Deer Lodge and is the man who terrorized a Hamilton woman back in 1998. MTN has been working on this story for more than a year. We start our coverage with the new evidence that could set Paul Jenkins and Fred Lawrence free after more than 20 years in prison. A jury convicted Jenkins and Lawrence for the murder of Donna Marr, who was kidnapped and beaten to death outside a bar west of Helena. But in the past few years, the Montana Innocence Project reviewed the evidence and what it uncovered has shaken this case to the core. The new DNA tests on crime scene evidence shows it belongs to a David Wayne Nelson, a man already in prison for killing a Deer Lodge area mother and son two years ago and who had served time for a violent attack on a Hamilton woman in the late 1990s. Now, it not only means the two men in prison for two decades will go free, it also means a family torn apart will be finally reunited with their father. MTN's Jill Valley reports. Tower 1, deliberate homicide, accountability, guilty. This is video Crystal Combs has only seen once. She was 15 years old when a jury convicted her dad, Paul Jenkins, of murder. I remember the doors shutting, everything being cold, and the first words out of their mouth was, I'd never see my daddy alive again. She and her siblings never believed their father was a killer. But living with a father behind bars was confusing. And I've went through times in my life in the last 23 years where I've tried to force myself to accept the reality of what my life was. But I never got to the point where I actually believed he was guilty. Donna Marr was closing up at the Jackson Creek Saloon in Montana City back in January of 1994. She was robbed, kidnapped, and beaten to death with a crowbar her body found later that day. Prosecutors convinced the two juries the men were guilty. Both received two life sentences each. Paul Jenkins appealed his conviction several times but lost. Then in 2003, the Montana legislature allowed the convicted to petition for DNA testing. And that's when the Montana Innocence Project got involved in the case and got permission to conduct new forensic tests. Crystal got the news this fall. The DNA on some crime scene evidence did not match Fred Lawrence's or her father's, and that another possible suspect had emerged. It is possible those two men could go free after almost 24 years in prison. He's very excited. He's beside himself. He's not sure how to feel either. I think we're all confused and a little bit overwhelmed at this point. My emotions go from happy to sad to angry to confused, and that can all happen within 60 seconds. I can be smiling and then before the end of my sentence, I'll be crying because I don't understand. I just don't understand how all the opportunities was there to get the right person and my entire life was changed. Jill Valley, MTN News, Missoula. Now, Paul Jenkins has been in the prison infirmary in Lewistown. He lost both legs to diabetes, but his lawyer tells us he plans to use his prosthetics to walk out. That will, of course, depend on what the judge decides to do with the motion to release. Now, Paul Jenkins' lawyer, Thad Atkins, is working this case in the, with the Montana Innocence Project, who he says deserves enormous credit for uncovering new evidence and bringing the story to light. In a statement, he tells us Paul Jenkins and Fred Lawrence have spent more than 23 years in state custody for crimes they did not commit. We hope that the Attorney General's office will determine that the interests of justice outweigh defending these wrongful convictions and stipulate to Paul and Fred's release from prison. David Nelson is the man whose DNA is now in question in Donna Marr's murder. He's someone who's made headlines before, most recently, for the brutal robbery and murder of a mother and son in Deer Lodge. It was a theft that netted him thousands of dollars in silver, but also a trip back to prison. We'll have more on his criminal history coming up tonight at 10. What's next in this case? Lewis and Clark District Judge Kathy Seeley will hear the motions to have the conviction vacated, and the two men set free next Friday in Helena.